birds. Greetings, James here, Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. Uh, I've had a request or two uh, to show a video about my drop trap. So here it is. <clears throat> it's kind of a Belgian style drop trap. I designed it based off of a previous version I had on a small loft in Arizona. But basically, um, <clears throat> when it's time to let the birds out, they come, they land on here. I have this window opened up like that, and they just land here and hop down, fly out. Once they're all out, I close the window back down. And then they just hop through there. I'll go get a measuring tape so we can get the measurements for this. Um, but yeah, I like this trap style a lot. I like it actually better than the bobs. They just drop through there. They don't hesitate. They don't get scared of the bobs. Sometimes I found that the bobs kind of catch them up a little bit. They start to enter in and then it constricts them a little bit and they back out. But this, I found that they just pop right down through. So the way I made this one is I made it so it can just lift right off. So if uh, it's the winter time and I'm not flying, then I'll just leave it off for a while and that gives me a little bit of extra space here. And the way I did that is with these little keyholes that I put in. I think it's called a keyhole bracket. You can get them at any hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. So then when I want to put it back on, I'll just line it up. It's not easy to do with one hand, but there it is. Pretty easy. Works really well. Okay, but don't take my word for how great of a trap it is. Let's talk to the birds. Hey guys, you guys like that trap? Nod your head a little bit if you like that trap. Oh yep, I saw it. Yep, several of them are nodding their heads. It's official, you've heard it from the birds. They like it too, it's not just me. Sweet. So I designed it so that the openings would be about four inches. And that uh, narrow space and the angle makes it so the birds cannot fly up and get out. Um, just because of the overall dimensions of this window, um, the two end spaces are a little bit wider, four and a half inches on each side. Is that right? Yep, four and a half on each side. So yep, four inches. But let's look at some of these other dimensions. Just take it off. <clears throat> so the actual white piece, which is PVC, got five and a half inches by five and a half. So, and that makes this diagonal um, seven and three quarters. But yeah, so that's how I did it. And I ended up, like I said, using PVC. You could use dowels instead with wood. That's what I've done previously, but I had some scraps of PVC, so I ripped them and then just kind of sanded them to give them a little bit of a smooth um, edge. You kind of see that it's not quite a big sharp line on all the edges here. And then I glued it with some PVC pipe glue. And then I think I also put in a few um, brad nails with my air compressor. Yeah, pretty simple. Simple and effective. The only thing I would change is I'd have this extend out a little bit right there and come down so that it fills this space a little bit better. You know, I just have it come out right there a little bit like that. But I love it, works really well.
just drops right in. Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. Adios.